All right, so oh, I'm gonna talk about so, some of these people. Okay, now. Oh. <laughs> hey, people, I give you nothing but spiritual. I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't giving you no flesh. Let me tell you. Okay. Um, I want to talk about some of the people that God uh, uh, revealed things to me about. And I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Okay. How many of us have heard of Nicki Minaj? <laughs> Last year, uh, 2013, three or maybe four minor visions. When I say minor, they weren't spectacular, 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. It wasn't those kinds of, those levels, but still legitimate, simple dreams and simple visions that I have had with Nicki Minaj. I'm not necessarily a fan. I don't hate, I don't love, I don't follow. I'm, hey, I'm just, hey, she's talented. Hey, God bless her. Amen. But then the Lord would show me a few things about her that made me say, wow, God has people everywhere. Let me tell you. So I saw Nicki Minaj, um, two or three visions, maybe four visions, dreams, simple dreams. And uh, one that I remember distinctly, she was looking at me and she had like a heavenly clarity in her eyes. And that impressed me. I knew that there was a, uh, something heavenly something spiritual in her eyes and um then i had a couple other dreams that more or less shared good qualities of her that showed me she's of god god has her she's one of god's people so then thankfully i had that now that was that was last year thankfully for over a decade now approaching 20 we're talking roughly 15 ish years that i <coughs> <clears throat> that I've begun to kind of really allow my ideologies to collapse and consider ecumenical ways of thinking. And, I mean, I wasn't totally unecumenical. I mean, I used to embrace and be, you know, kind of toward other people uh, always. But I still had this limited kind of view, you know, getting saved means this, being a Christian means that, being really on target in the real, genuine, kosherini things of God is like this, and it looks like this. And I've learned to chill with that. So in that sense, conventions began to co collapse in my way of thinking. Um, you know, when we get indoctrinated, with, we're taught, you know, indoctrinated in church things, religious things. Uh, we gain a lot of ground on the one hand, but we lose a lot of ground on the other because uh, it helps us in a lot of ways to walk the straight and narrow, but then we become narrow-minded. And obviously that's a danger because we're in a people world, and in a people world you can't be dogmatic and um, you can't walk in an ideology and sincerely be kind because you'll be looking down your nose at people consciously or subconsciously and there's a there's a non-register there and we need to register with people we need to engage people uh, okay so Lord has shown me things about people and I have learned already over a decade I the Lord has shown me nearly two decades talking to me about there are many things about God that we have not been taught and one of the things is how he sees people how, what he thinks about people how he views people so I am really, really, man, I've learned already how to see God in people in a way that conventional Christianity does not teach us. We have learned that this is a Christian. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. I will see you in the service this evening. That's a Christian. Hey, that convention is good. But it's not complete. It's not full. And it, that convention is collapsing quickly. And God is revealing to me and others that he sees people in a way differently than the way we, through our religious eyes, see. So, sometimes he shows me things about people, and I'm ready to say amen to what he reveals to me. Never mind that it doesn't appear that way. Okay, look, I'm, I'm going to mention a few names that God spoke to me about. Look, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Snooki, Rosie O'Donnell, Will Smith, Mary J. Blige, not necessarily in that order. Okay. In these cases, man, positive things that God showed me about all these people. 
Wow. Sometimes he shows me things about people that is not so positive. And um, sometimes I have to share. Sometimes I don't have the opportunity. But he shows me things sometimes. And then I, I got their number in a sense sometimes. But I, of course, I love it when it's a good and beautiful, positive thing. And wow, what God has shown me about these people. Wow. Okay, so let's begin with uh, Nicki Minaj. He showed me like three or four dreams or visions last year, 2013, about Nicki Minaj. I'm not necessarily a fan of her. I don't follow. I don't hate. I don't love. I don't follow. I don't know. I didn't even know who she was till a couple of years ago. But I know she's an entertainer. Um, lo and behold, he showed me a couple of dreams last year. Three, maybe four dreams or visions. Not spectacular ones. 10 on a scale of 10, no. Simpler, short dreams, but he showed me a heavenly clarity in her eyes. And she was discerning me, and I was discerning her, and I saw, wow, there's, there's something really spiritual, celestial, about her. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, then I saw that, and it was a heavenly clarity. So that helped me, and then the other dreams that I had, spoke something positive similar also and uh, helped me to see her in a new light. Now I see her as um, she's a chosen vessel of God. God is using her never mind how a person what, uh, what a person's lifestyle, lingo, their forum, their venue, what their style, hey, all of that, listen man, God only knows. God only knows. All I know is that God will always say I am bigger than the church world. I am bigger than the religious things. So with that in mind, you got to keep that part in mind, that God is bigger than the church world. God is bigger than Christian conventions. Oh, that's a Christian. You know? Uh, a pastor tells me one time, we're walking down the street, and uh, I see these two girls. I say, oh, praise the Lord. They say, God bless you. Praise the Lord. And I said, oh, Christian girls. Uh, he says, oh. They're not Christians. I said, they're not good. What makes you say that? Look at their fingernails. They have nail polish. Okay. So you see, that's just a simple, crude example of how many Christians think. If you don't carry the Bible, if you don't say, God bless you in just the right way. If you don't fall down in the Holy Ghost and dance and say amen in just the right way, you're not really one of us. Yo, die to all of that stupidness. All right, God has people here, God has people everywhere, and man, I'm so blessed that he has given me a heart to get it. I get it. He's given me his heart. I see it, I get it, I say, oh my God, I love and I accept. On that note, let me just throw this in there. Uh, about a year ago, I heard a song, uh, well, it was kind of like a song, it was like a poem, an angel whispering into my ear and said, this is word for word. He said, justify, justify, justify. More than you have ever justified before. Edify, edify, edify. More than you have ever edified before. Wow. I said, oh my God, that is amazing. And this came like an angel whispering in my ear. I woke up, I got this, I said, wow. And I'm so glad that I already was, I already had begun to do that long time ago. So for him to tell me to do that was simply him letting me know. He knows. God knows you do that. Just keep on keeping on doing that. Justify. Don't be ready to judge. Don't be so quick to, oh, oh, those girls can't be Christians. How do you know that? Oh, they had nail polish. Oh, my God. So we need to grow up as Christians and that's one of the things that the angel meant hey man God only knows maybe they are of God maybe they are of not they are not of God but we can't judge especially by stupid stuff like that so with that in mind I'm saying well let's go where you want to go help me to see how you want me to see and God believed me he believed my sincerity and he said here you go I will teach you stuff and he would show me things about Nicki Minaj that I would get it. Wow. There is something anointed on her. And I'm going to go further into other dreams that have nothing to do with specific people, but just themes and uh, uh, 
agendas of God that seems to confirm and affirm what the Lord showed me positive about these people. Now, so Nicki Minaj, I bless Nicki Minaj. Let me tell you, that woman is beautiful. She's talented. She's charismatic. Man, that girl is gifted of God. Who can deny? Hey, Michael Jackson as well. He was, you know. And so uh, that we can see with the eyes of God and give grace and give blessing and affirm and say, wow, I look at God. Never mind the themes of the songs, the lingo, the profanity, and the lewd lifestyle. Let that collapse. Please, people, let that collapse. In the name of Jesus, amen.